Welcome back to the Bit of Truth for a Monday. Now I did get a trophy for myself to celebrate 500 subscribers, but we didn't even get to make a video for that because you guys love my videos so much. I shot right past that and now we're on the way to a thousand. So thank you guys. We are now going to use this trophy and present it to the daily donkeys, dipshits and donuts. Let's see what we've got for you today. Let's go. It's funny now how that COVID has died down. We're starting to hear about all these new diseases and illnesses that are going to get you. I've covered a bunch of these on a few recent videos. Well, we've got some new propaganda for you today. We've got the new and improved which is an oxymoron, by some more moronic scientists as they discover the most mutant convid ever. Oh yes, move over South Africa. We have Indonesia that are taking the trophy today. Congratulations! And if that's not enough on new diseases, we've got some more for you. We've got a highly contagious zombie fungus that is now the new global health threat. Oh yes. Oh yes, come into a movie theater, a shopping mall or a school near you. Yes, that's right, this bug is now so serious that it has been recognized as a global health threat. Good luck in locking people down again. Unlike you, we aren't stupid. And when the rest of the population sees my videos too, thanks you guys for sharing, they too will refuse to be locked up inside their homes ever again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool us twice, well, that's not gonna happen. Good luck, Doc. And if the two new superbugs aren't scary enough, we have a, uh, sorry, we have an urgent health warning to millions over a popular sandwich filling, which could be deadly. Oh yes, vegans, you're safe from this one. You're fine. Go throw your kale party to celebrate as this one just involves smoked fish. Fish such as salmon and trout could be contaminated by a deadly bacteria, Listeria. Just to mark this special occasion, and speaking of fish, I'm gonna have salmon with my eggs this morning. For lunch, I'm gonna have grilled trout. And for this evening, I will have some of Greta. Actually, I think I'll just have steak. What in barbecue? Now when more things are spreading quicker than the plague is TikTok advice. Yes, there's now another warning over a new pseudoscience TikTok trend that encourages bloated teens to drink potentially toxic herbal cocktails. Oh yes, very nice, very good. How is it that if I merely say a few buzzwords, I get instantly striked and banned, yet there's hundreds of people making money off of all this hogwash, and a lot of it. Well done. Man, this is some bullshit. Now, we have to go back and investigate some more crimes. Since my video on Saturday, the police haven't got any better. In fact, I feel they got worse. So let's see what they're up to today. We've got a Met policeman that sexually assaulted a woman in the sea on his stag do. Ay ay ay. So not only are you a poor policeman, you're a poor future husband, a poor man, and I hope that your future bride-to-be has grown some sense, found my YouTube channel, and kicked you to the curb. Bye. We've got a detective that has been found guilty of kiddie fiddling a 12-year-old for eight years. Another fine example of policing. Yet, it doesn't just stop with this one. We also have retired Met Police officers who have been jailed. One decided to press the self-delete button after their plot to share dirty images was caught. Seriously, I've said this many times, but the police need policing. Who is doing the vetting process? And who's vetting the person doing the vetting process? More points down on your PR, police. Wankers. Let's move on to some crime not committed by police. The brother of a man who tried to steal a car and ended up getting shot says that the man that shot him is a vigilante, not a hero. Nope. Look, if you fuck around, you're going to find out. This lowlife tried to rob a couple who were in their car by gunpoint, but ended up as the victim himself. Too bad, so sad. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Unfortunately, that kind of justice is just reserved for the USA. We have a far greater system over here, thanks to our lovely judges. A father and his pregnant wife who were subjected to a 10 month ordeal by a sword wielding neighbor tells us how the authorities let him off with just a slap on the wrist. 
Here we go again, a very English looking man with a very English sounding name doing very English things. Yes, that's right, in the UK you can terrorise people with swords and be let off. And I quote in the article, the man said that the police wouldn't do anything because nobody had come of harm yet. Thank you police, thank you judges, well done, thank you. You're all fucking morons! Sweda Bravman buys tents to hold 2,000 Dover discoverers. Yes, well done, Suella. More thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds wasted because these tents will never be put to use. We've already got them complaining about staying in five-star hotels and army barracks, which are good enough for our boys, but not good enough for them. What makes you think that one will stay here longer than an hour before being redirected to the nearest Ritz or Mercure Hotel? Hmm? I can order some room service, please. And speaking of hotels, We've got one which is proposed to hold these newly found Brits. Well, they've granted an injunction against protesters. Yes, that's right, even if your village only has 200 people and is about to get an influx of 3,000 more potential Britons, good luck in protesting. You will be silenced. Silence! Now, speaking of people we don't want here, that Greta Thunberg is back in London as the climate loony targets our UK ministers. I'm really hoping to report tomorrow that someone has pulled a big prank on her akin to the ones that we did the other day. If there is a god. How dare you! And we can't leave today without talking about some woman face. Head teachers have been told that they will not get any advice on dealing with trans kids until autumn. Look, Rishi, this is very simple. I'm going to say it nice and clearly just for you. You have those big ears, so listen up. If you are not old enough to have sex, you have no right in being able to change your sex. It's that simple. That's a very pretty point. We've got the trans swimmer who was allowed to undress next to women, and the women that complained were told to get re-educated. Re-educated. If I was these women, I would buy every single book of biology that I could get my hands on and plaster it all over the walls of any woman's toilet within a thousand mile radius. Look ladies, please do yourself a favour, stop complaining. You need to do something, stand up for your rights, refuse to compete. And this is not going to work unless you do it in the majority. Let's see how quickly these idiots who tell you to get re-educated change the rules when nobody decides to compete. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And finally today, a man spots Godzilla swimming in the Thames. Don't be alarmed folks, that's just Boris of the Johnson having his morning swim. <laughs> right, that's it, my rant's over for a Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you back tomorrow for a Tuesday. Signing out.